But you guys got another video here for you on how to stop Windows updates while in progress. This will be for Windows 10 and Windows 11 based systems. Now, if you're running Windows 10 or Windows 11 and a Windows update starts to come down and you didn't mean to start to update it, or you simply don't want that update because it's a feature update and you want to block it and stop it, then I'm going to show you how you can quickly stop this while it's in progress to stop you from rolling out that update on that system immediately. So you can see here, I'm checking for updates right here and I'll show you a couple of things you can do. You can see this in install for this update was starting to go there and I quickly stopped it by hitting the pause update. You will need to be in this area to pause it immediately, otherwise it will continue to update. Another thing you can do if it's a large update coming down in the background and you wanna stop it, search for services and then open up your services window right here. And inside here, there's a couple of areas which will stop the update from coming down. Once inside here, you wanna click on this one here, background intelligent transfer service. If you stop this service, it's going to stop any background intelligent transfer that's happening right now. This will be for your updates or anything else that's going on in the background. If we go back to our Windows updates, and resume updates here because we stopped that background intelligence service. Uh, basically what's gonna happen is it's gonna stop any sort of background uh, data being transferred over. And you can see straight away, we've gone straight back to this area here. And that's because we paused it as well. So if you click on download and install, it will start to download and install again. You can then restart your background intelligent transfer service again because we stopped it temporarily and you need to have that running in the background at all times so we've restarted it and you can see there's no change in our windows update right here so that's a quick way of stopping the update in its tracks another way of doing it is going down to the windows update area here if you come down to where it says windows update if this set to automatic it's going to come down and it will start to install I always set mine to manual, that way it's not going to allow it to do that. This will be running when there's a background uh, update happening. If you stop this while the update is happening, it will stop that update in its tracks. I'll show you how that works uh, right now. What I'll do is I'll set this running and we'll get it working here. And you'll see automatically when it's set to manual, if there was an update coming down, this will start up immediately and start working. You can see it stopped at the moment. But let me quickly show you how this works. So I'll quickly set these windows up here and you'll see exactly what I mean. So I've got the both windows side by side. And what I'll do is I'll start to download the update and you'll see that this service will start uh, firing up. So let me quickly click on uh, the update here on the right hand side and you'll see, I might need to refresh this window uh, if I start this, I'm not too sure, but I'll click download and it will say turn on to get the latest updates as soon as possible. I'll just say turn on here and it's starting to download here. Now it's not showing up here right now, so I might need to reopen this window and then I'll, I'll show you exactly what happens. So let me quickly close this window down and I'll reopen it and you'll see it's still downloading that big large update here. So let's go ahead and close this off. And I'll quickly go into here and go to services again, and we can quickly test it. So let me go services. And you can set this up with a simple batch file to stop this immediately if you wanted to. And coming down here to Windows Update, as you can see right here, it has already started because we are downloading it in the background. If I open this up now and click on stop here, it will completely kick out that um, update and it will stop it in its tracks. Ready? It's ready to go and it should stop anytime soon. It's still downloading in the background and it's still thinking about it. There we go. It's kicked it out and it stopped it. So that's basically how you can stop a Windows 10 or a Windows 11 update that is in progress. If you didn't want to roll out that update and it was a mistake or maybe Microsoft have forced it on you or your machine is working really hard in the background, and you want to stop that process, that's basically how you can do it. It's very simple and easy to do. Hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. 
and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Mm-hmm.